either if you are a, a medical personnel that is treating people with the coronavirus, you want to take a few minutes and watch this, we have a product that might help you out. My name is Derek Holland, I'm the Closet Doctor in Lincoln, California. We have a state-of-the-art shop that we've retooled to build devices that can help people in the medical industry that are treating people with the coronavirus. The main one, this is an open source box that we've got. I've got friends in Ireland that are building these for hospitals there. We've taken that design. This is our, our early prototypes. And this is used when, we're in, and when you're intubating a patient that you can place this over their head. You have access to put your arms through and do the work that you need to do and still have a shield on here. There's a video at the end of this video that explains it in terms that are uh, better medical terms than I can, but there's lots of options with that. So we have the one with the, the two hand held, uh, two holes in it for the hands. We also have one that has an oval opening. This is, it's clear, we just have a, the protective sheet is still on the, the acrylic. It's a hard acrylic plastic and it can be wiped down and work really, really good for you yeah, from there. Additionally, we can do other things. Depending, if you need something, let us know what you need. This is one that we thought of. This is just a handheld shield that if you're working with a patient, that patient can hold it up while you're doing an examination. And when they're done, they can set it down. Just one more barrier between you and the, the patients out there. During intubation and extubation of a COVID positive patient, there's an increased risk of contamination to the clinician carrying out that procedure. And a clinician in uh, Taiwan developed this shield, a box shield for his patients. And a group of Irish uh, designers, manufacturers and clinicians have come together to improve in that design for an Irish hospital setting. So it's designed to fit on the trolley or the operating table and uh, to give access to the clinician's hands uh, to access the patient and then space an opening at the caudal end uh, for the patient's body to go out through. So the picture in the top right is how it will appear in reality. So this is the first prototype being manufactured today on a, a 3D um, cam CAD uh, cutter and this is the product now in the curing process. These hand holes at the top end will be used by the clinician to access the patient and then the large opening at the feet or the caudal end will be used for the medical devices during treatment. This is made from a hard clear plastic. It appears white as there's a covering on it during the manufacturing process but as you can see that covering can, is going to be peeled off before it's going to be used and that will allow this to be wiped down very clean. It's actually made from two pieces of material and the top piece has got a little track in it. That track is going to be filled with glue so you can wash down this after a procedure is finished. And uh, as you see in the next picture then, so that's the top surface is now on the bottom, that's a drying. And it's going to be a nice smooth surface all the way around. It'll be quite easily cleaned. This little lip will make it easy to lift on and lift off. And there's actually two different design variants. This one design has an opening on the caudal end, but just hand holes on the cranial end. The second design is going to have an opening on both ends, and that large opening can be covered with a transparent surgical sheet. The pros and cons of the designs as we can see them at the moment, the one on the right gives perhaps greater protection for the clinician performing the procedure because they've got a closed end of the box uh, towards the clinician's body and they're just putting their hands through. The con, uh, the downside of that may be that it restricts movement a little bit. On the sheet entry model, you can hang a transparent sheet both front and back so you have greater access for the clinician that they can move their hands around much better but that requires adding a sheet to that. Some operating theatres have transparent sheets and sticky material that they could stick onto the head of the box and that would uh, give them protection and more movement but perhaps um, other clinicians would prefer greater protection from a solid base at the cranial end of the box. So as the design develops, we're going to send this down to three different hospitals in Ireland to get feedback from the clinicians using it and the design will evolve and develop over time. Um, it's our intention to make this an open source design to put it out on the open market 
um, so that any manufacturer, any hospital, anyone who works with plastics can make this and supply it for free or for next to nothing to the health service during this time of national emergency. Um, so, can, can I concentrate on this? so we have our anesthetic set up, we have our surf coming from below, we have the tube already in there, we would have that loaded with a stylet. Um, and now we can obviously in the real situation I would be wearing gloves and long uh, long sleeve um, surgical gown to protect my arms but for our purposes we can, can see that it's quite easy through the slit in the clean film where it's quite easy to get the, the move in and out I can move the head I can position for intubation I can have the mask on, I can pre oxygenate the patient before intubation. Once I'm ready to intubate after I've given my drugs, and it's quite easy to get the laryngoscope in and get the optimal view. Let's just turn on this one on for demonstration. So this mannequin is actually quite hard to pass the tube in, but we can do it. So there's the airway and it's quite easy for an assistant to be coming around from this side to give cricoid pressure if they wanted to do a manipulation of the airway from outside to do pressure or to hand in an instrument if we needed another tube for example it's quite easy for someone to hand that in as long as they're in their full PPE but from the top I have got plenty of room to manoeuvre and put the tube if I have to and just advance the tube again this is plastic on plastic so it doesn't really move very well but we could have that we have it intubated we can inflate the cuff with a syringe and we can close the circuit and tape it up okay and hands out you can tape it up hands out and the procedure is done. Similarly for extubating, we could be put, if we wanted to, we could put a new wrapper clean film. Easy on, it sticks quite well because of the acrylic. So if you wanted to just leave this for the case, very quickly get a, a small roll of clean film. To leave it back to the case, have, to have it completely isolated. If we want to instrument again, we just pick and split in and out cat flap type idea, we can deflate, we can suction the patient, we can deflate the cuff, remove the cuff and go directly back on with the face mask. We could have an entirely new circuit filled with a filter already on ready so if we didn't we, we could make a little bit smoother transition. So that's the idea of the box. It will contain the spray, coughing largely to the microenvironment of the tube. Perfect.